Oh, the poor fish. I have to save it. A bucket of salmon. Hi, uh, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Trying out a new YouTube notification thing. Uh, where I'm not going live to YouTube because it's been absolutely horrendous lately. The lag has been terrible. So, now, uh, I just privated a video that says, um, Vine Sauce is live, and I will make it public when I stream. Apparently, Maximilian Dude does this, and uh, John Full Sauce recommended it, and so it seems like it's all not de por fiche. It seems like it could work. It works. Vinny, what was the music? Nice music choice, really? What's the music on the video? I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay. Um, anyway, welcome to the stream. We're going to get uh, the final trials of Mana Stream. So, remember, we had five out of five twiles. We're going for six and seven. But we're going to finish this game tonight. I, there's no way we're going to get Charlotte again doing the intro. It's just not going to happen, chat. Okay, that was Japes. Sorry, I just, I had to. Um, that one was fake. That was fake. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. This is it. Trials of mana. Ah, <laughs> streak broken. Well, we got Angela, at least. This is the last time you're going to hear this wonderful voice acting, so... No more glorious... Glorious Matelo and... Wobble filters and... Yeah. Post, uh, what's that? New Game Plus? No! No! Did you get a chance to watch any of the Red Letter Media Willy Wonka review? I didn't even know there was a new Red Letter Media. Wow. Fake fan. Oh, it just, it was just released. Well, I know what to watch later. People uh, want to know how far I am in Xenoblade or Xenoblade or I'm not sure how to say it, but I'm just at the ether mines around Colony 6. So I'm not, I'm not very far. This can't be Altana. It has to be an illusion. Someone said, I don't, in relation to me sharing where I'm at in the game. Thank you for sharing that information. Are you going to check out survival mode and coin game? Yep. I don't know when. Like I said, I'm going to be finishing this up, and then Terraria is kind of coming to a close, too. Um, I mean, Terraria never really ends, but... You know, for my streaming purposes... I want to just do all the main bosses and... You know. Then, um... Whoa. So, my plan is, like I said, not to start a giant game right away, and just do a bunch of smaller shit. Don't keep me waiting. Gloomwood demo? I've considered that. That could happen this week. Hell, if I finish this early, that could happen tonight. 
Okay. Give it to me. Salmo. There was um a couple of reveals today. Vinny, stop pretending to be chill. All right. Well then, fuck you. Um, Vinny, God, please, God, I hope I'm so tired of Vincent playing anime games just to try to relate to weebs. Was that chat member's statement? Come on. Wow. The weeb market is really gonna bring in a lot of money and viewers. Gotta, gotta get that, um, that weeb appeal, huh? Wow, chat member, that's- a, that's amazing. As if I didn't... ...have, uh, personal reasons for playing this game. Mental. Do you remember yesterday when I didn't respect Japanese culture? Ooh. Salamon. Well, there you go. I stopped pretending to be chill. That was very interesting, chat member. Vinny, your voice sounds saltier than usual. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. I mean, I could just ignore chat messages like that. I usually do. I see a little spiciness every now and then, but... I just, uh, sometimes I like to... I like to have a little bit of a kerfuffle, but I'll tell you what, the chat member just stopped typing. They, they just disappeared, so... I guess they weren't... They weren't really interested in actually having a conversation. Someone said, why are you even... The, the same person said, why are you even reading my fuck? Well, here's how this works. Okay, chat member. Here's how this works. When you type a message in chat, that's public. There's a chance that the streamer will see that. Um, that that's not a thing that goes away. So, did, did you know that? So, yeah. That's an amazing... That is an amazing way to start a stream. Uh, but, listen. Whatever you think is fine. I don't really particularly care for a lot of... The, um... The anime games, as you say, but this is a game I grew up playing, kind of. Uh, big fan of Psyche Ninsetsu 3 and Secret of Mana. Oh, and you call me chat member like you think you know who I am. Fuck you, says the chat member. Wow, they are looking for a fight. Holy shit. You okay? Dude, like, what can I... What can I do for you? How can I help you with whatever's going on in your life? I can, I can help. It's all good. We'll just chill. Or not. Hang on. Uh, speaking of chill, I need to put my uh, air conditioner on because it is now very hot. And also, if you hear a weird noise in the background, it's that. It's not like a touch of laundry.
Okay, here we go. Let's continue. Salmon. Should I play Persona 4 Golden just to, uh... Nah, never mind, never mind, never mind. A 100-hour spite stream. I, I will be the Larry David of, of Twitch. This dude is still going on. There is a difference. You are in a place of power. You have influence on the youths. You told me to stop being chill. Mate. What? Who... Who is this guy? No, this is, this is like, next level trolling. It has to be. It, ha it really, really has to be. It's amazing. It's okay. No, I, um, I, I, I think I love this chat member. This is the most entertainment I've had in a very long time. I am, I am pleased and grateful both at the same time. Uh, well, what can you do? I wish you luck. Chat member. No more feeding tonight. I had I had enough fun feeding. Uh, we're we're done feeding the troll for now. But boy, what a what a good. <laughs> what a good. I'm good. All right. Anyway, I love, I love it. I love it. All right, we're gonna finish this game up, and uh, let's let's actually we'll try to figure out how to get out of this horrendous reused asset dungeon. Vin, are you doing good, Vine guy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing alright. Today was a busy day. It's nice to get revenge on chess pieces after losing the chess battle in, um, Clubhouse so horrendously. Yeah, music stuff. A lot of stuff trying to, like, get my stuff in some semblance of order, like, around me in my life, like, my house, stuff like that, um... Come on. So, yeah, just trying to keep busy. Time to work together, everyone. Time for this. There's a lot of people in New York without masks, again, just outside, like, they've opened up some places, so I see people sitting outside. And that's fine, but then there's people inside places, not wearing masks, not taking any precautions. And it's like, yep. So... So I'm just still staying as far away from that shit as possible and just trying to, you know, buy as much food and stay home as much as I can. So... Vinny, have you ever wanted to move out of New York? No, I like it. I like it here. Uh, lately, not so much. But, I mean, I have friends and family here, and I just, I don't know, I, I, I like the pizza, I like the bagels. I like the bada bing, you know? I really don't know if I want to leave New York. Though, I've considered, like, man, at some point, wouldn't it be nice to have, like, a place in the middle of nowhere? Careful! It's the enemy! <laughs> 
But I think people just mostly want me to go to Brazil. There's places like that in New York State. Yeah, New York State has plenty of stuff. Like, upstate New York has good um, mountain. I've considered that too, but I think I just like the city. Like I said, right now I kind of hate the city, but generally I like the city quite a bit. I think I want to... yeah, just one mountain. We have the Catskill, and we have the Adirondack. Just two mountain. They're just, like, one big mountain and one slightly smaller mountain. There is a uh, radio station that my friend Bill saw that is for sale. For a really ridiculously low price. And it's like a three-hour drive from the city. And I was... For a minute, I was like, man, that would be a cool place to hang out and have, like, a recording studio. And, like, you know, make my own radio station and, like, build a recording studio. But it's in the middle of fucking nowhere. And... You know. I say really good price, it's like... It's completely unfeasible. Like... But for a giant, like, building in the middle of nowhere, I was shocked at how cheap it was. I don't remember exactly how much it was either, but it was like, um... I mean, but that's also the further away you get from a big city. You know, like, if you're on, uh, if you're in Brooklyn, you could actually, there are houses in Brooklyn, but you're gonna end up spending... You know, the mortgage might be, like, half a million for a small one. Like, small. Really small. But if you go upstate and you spend the same amount, congratulations, you now live in a mansion. By Coney Island. Speaking of Coney Island, there was a really good video Defunct Land put out. If, um, if you want to see some wacky shit about how Coney Island burns to the ground three times, Defunct Land put out a good 40 minute video, and it's, uh, that place was real fucked up. I mean, it's definitely a good combination of sleazy and, like, you know, amusement park and fun for the whole family. And it just led to this weird place that's still, like, I still like to go to it. But I don't go because it's good. I, I go because it's kind of trash. And because hot dog. White fish are dying off. Yeah, they. It's like the problem is that they can't get the reproduction fluids through the outer material, so they don't reproduce. Those poor white fish, the salmon. So yeah, there's also, um, yeah, that documentary was good. There was a Bright Sun film video I watched recently about some river land. I fell asleep watching it, but it was good. Um, what did you think of the trailer released today for the game Bound to Have a Horrible Launch? Yes. Okay, so Star Wars Squadrons was revealed, and there was a trailer. It wasn't gameplay. 
Uh, here's the problem. So it's going to be a $40 game. They say there's no microtransactions, and EA has been walking back on that, and Jedi Fallen Order also launched without any microtransactions, so I do believe them. Command & Conquer actually was 20 bucks and was good. So, I think they are trying, at least. The rumor is that the game's single player is only about four to five hours long. Which, as I always say, I'd take a solid four to five hour long game than filler. Speaking of which, hello, Trials of Mana. But, yeah, no, for 40 bucks, it's it's got a, like, say, four to five hour single player and then a focus on multiplayer, which I don't really want from a Rogue Squadron spiritual successor. I, um, I would really like like a good, cohesive, 10-hour single-player game like the old ones. I mean, well, then again, they weren't always that long. They, they weren't, like, replayable is the word. But anyway... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the, the cinematic trailer looks good, and I am a huge Rogue Squadron fan, so it's something. You know, Jedi Fallen Order was a pretty great game, for what it was. When I say great, it was like, oh, a Star Wars game that doesn't suck. That was really, the bar was so low that that's all that mattered. But this Squadrons game, you know, it has to live up to Rogue, Rogue Squadron and Rebel Strike. Uh, which isn't that much of a bar, actually, but, you know, Rogue Leader. So, let's hope the game isn't terrible. It pains me to say this, but EA probably... will fuck it up somehow. And for me, it's almost a miracle when they don't fuck up a game. Uh, but, again, 40 bucks, no microtransactions, so I'm, I'm hopeful at least... for that. Queen Succube. It's Vivi from yesterday's video game. Angela going full throttle. Vinny, did you see that David Gilmore sold his guitars? That was like a year ago, wasn't it? I was actually considering getting one, but it ended up going for like... You know, like $200,000, like a shitty one that he didn't even use that much. Yeah, that was a while ago. Come on. Did you see the Arcane documentary? I did on, uh, Ravenholm. Well, I covered a bunch of stuff, but... Specifically, they were gonna do a little Half-Life side story on Ravenholm. I'm gonna say... That would have been really cool to see. Okay. I really don't know. I mean... Come on. Okay. Could they have reached Valve's level of quality? It looked good. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, anything Half-Life related... Uh, we're still waiting on that big no-clip documentary, right? Like, for Valve, on the years that were, um... The dark years of Valve. That I really need to see. A uh, final hour. It's final hour, yeah. So that I really want to see. I want to see what kind of stuff was going on behind the scenes, why they cancelled and didn't work, and, you know... 
what their weird company infrastructure was like for all the years in the um, interim. I think just like their office dynamic is both really cool and also just awful. Um, but that's just one thing on top of many possible things. And also there is, what was it called? It was Scope Creep. Which is a Radiohead song. I hate to pick on such weak targets, but... Well, I say awful, I mean like... The way they did their, you know, someone wanted to, like, clarification. The way they do their thing is, like, a team, like, anyone could just work on whatever the fuck they want. And I feel like that led to... A lack of driving force for some games, and it ended up kind of leading some of the stuff to just not get developed, or it was just all over the place, like totally scatterbrained. But I don't know. I, that's just a literally a theory, and I said literally for emphasis again. Another habit that I got rid of that I'm trying. Fuck that word sometimes, man. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Scatterbrains is another one. Yeah, there you go. That's another Radiohead song. But, I don't know, I feel like... We'll get some information, we'll find out. And whatever happens with Ravenholm... I almost wouldn't mind... Like, what they're doing with, um... The Snyder cut. <laughs> or the cat's butthole cut. Or how they released, um, Star Fox 2. I kinda... I wouldn't mind seeing them try to finish it. And just release it as like a free mod or something. I don't know. Where am I going? Up this way? So there's that. Uh, squadrons, like I said, I'm hopeful. I shouldn't be, but I am. Command and Conquer was done so well. And I'm just, like, shocked that they, they nailed it compared to Warcraft 3. So we'll, we'll see. But also, what was that other RTS game? There was another really cool looking fucking RTS game with strange mechanical spiders. Iron Harvest. So that was, um, there's a trailer for that that I saw. That looks cool. Uh, more System Shock gameplay, which... That remake feels like it's been in the works for years. Um, but I, I had a couple people say, Vin, you shouldn't play System Shock remake. Just don't. You, you should instead play the original. And it's like, well, I never really had any desire to play System Shock, period, but... Honestly, I don't know if I'd get into it. Like, I have no nostalgia for it, so, like... If it's a decent remake, that could be good for me. System Shock 2 probably aged better. Well, I'm just keeping an eye on it. I'll see. M maybe it'll be something good that I end up enjoying. chance of instantly destroying an enemy. When using power attack. Mostly just purists hating the quality of life updates. Yeah, and I understand, like, again... There's a lot of schools of thought when it comes to Remake. And then you have Command & Conquer, which is still... 
very much Command and Conquer down to the shitty AI and terrible pathfinding. Like, your dudes get stuck on a bridge and then they just, like, stop. So... You know, pick your poison. Prickle beak. I thought that said pickleback. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah, I'll say, though, that about this game, like, in all honesty, I, I like what they did with the remake. I'm gonna have my full thoughts. I'll even do them now, so that way, when the game is over... Wow, the dude... the dude just hovers. Uh, the truth is, this game is great, originally, but there are things about this remake that frustrate me. But they did a good job with, you know, what they had, and it's just... This is kind of, okay. aside from some gameplay updates, this is kind of what we got years ago. With a slower, slightly more stilted and frustrating battle system. So, the hack and slash, you know, ooh, action shit has come, you know, a long way. This is a very, very simplified version of that. And... This is all filler. I mean, this post-game shit, none of this has been compelling. It's just going through and fighting. It's a way for you to get use out of the fourth class change. That's all it is. Would you say this is better than the original? No, I can't say that. There's a charm the original has that this doesn't have, even if it does play better. However, I don't think, you know, if you're a fan of the original, I don't think you could really go wrong playing this. I think you'll still enjoy it. Does it- it never really elevates itself to the next level, but... It's- I, I don't regret my time playing it, even if it was, like, 25 hours or so. What about the voice acting? That was an elevation of the material. Because it- it elevated my sides into orbit several times. Someone said, do you think the fact that, wow, this move is broken, um, do you think this game not being as long as other RPGs helps it? Yes. No, this did not need to be 30, 40, 50 hours. No way. As I said in, in a previous stream, it doesn't feel bloated. If you enjoy the core gameplay loop before post-game, it moves at a pretty good pace. You're always meeting new characters, you're always checking out new areas. You're always getting new music. Someone said, I don't get what makes this fun, to be honest. Well... You, you, you fight. You press the buttons and you kill things. And you go through and you fight more and, and it's like any other game where you hit things with swords. Combat is not as tight as, like, a, a Zelda. But it's, it's, it's okay. Mindless action RPG. It's fine. That's a good review of the game. I would give it that too, yeah. Fun is also subjective. I like RTS games. I'm going to be streaming Command and Conquer in a minute. Well, not a minute, but some people hate RTS. In fact, the market in general doesn't really care for RTS games, which is why we haven't seen so many of them. Life 
potential feels limitless. But I really enjoy that. Time to work together, everyone. <laughs> Command and Conquer made me want to play more Command and Conquer, but I don't think I necessarily want to right now. I'll probably just play the remake and then wait for other releases or remakes, and then maybe check out that Iron Meat thing. What was that game again? <laughs> the one that people just told me the name of. Plenty of things can be solved by money. Iron Harvest. Okay, Iron Meat's a different game. That's like Contra. Prolapse Planet. That's the one. I watched uh, some YouTube series on Command and Conquer on the lore of Tiberium and Cain, and it was just... In, it was insanity. I had no idea how far that lore went. I don't remember the name of the YouTuber, but yeah, they said that Command & Conquer 3, like Tiberian Wars, Tiberian Wars was their favorite. I actually didn't expect that game to be good. <laughs> the Scree were excellent in 3, but isn't it called the Scrin, not the Scree? <laughs> Why is that rabbi so big? Wow, this instant death thing is proccing very frequently. For me, peak RTS is more like, um... Vinny, this dungeon really does look like a massive time waster. Oh, it is. It absolutely is. It's just, again, you, you change to class 4, and now they have to give you things to kill. Um... My... I think the RTS for me peaks at Warcraft 3. There was a unit cap, so it wasn't armies of, you know, hundreds of things killing other hundreds of things. Warcraft 3 works really well for my brain because you have a pretty low unit cap and you can just focus on your squads. You, you know, set like numbers, you get um, like a, a hero per squad. Someone said, why even play this? It looks tedious. Why do anything, chat member? Why not just like... Just stay in bed. It is the worst part of the game, though. Fine, then. Here I go. And again, for anyone watching, this wasn't in the original. This is just an artificial, like, post-game. Also, boy, do I hate puzzles like this. Good lord. Time to work together, everyone. I really hope this is the right way. This will be faster if we fight together. <laughs> Middle? Got it. Holy fuck. <laughs> huh? 
Nintendo just revealed a jump rope game that they made while they were at home. Wait, what? The fuck? Don't keep me waiting. It's free. So what do you do? You use the Joy-Cons to jump rope? That's it? You, you just jump over and over and over again? Oh. Alright. I'll just play Clubhouse games instead, but that's fine. Vinny, I just got a Star Trek Picard ad. Again, I really wish I could get those Star Trek Picard ads off this channel. Please do not watch Star Trek Picard. It is an insult to Picard and Star Trek. Thank you. That's just my opinion, however. Do you remember when... Oh, man. Used to have those, and, uh... You just... Everyone had their own, and it was fine. Like, you could just have an opinion. Kind of like, um, if you like a video game like Trials of Mana. <laughs> but there are people that say that it looks bad because you're at the worst part of the game. And they're not wrong, but it, it's frustrating. Someone said that's because you're old enough to remember life before the internet. Yeah, but the problem with life before the internet is people were just, like, spouting incorrect shit constantly. Like, that's how weird, like, stuff... Well, then again, that's still happening. Never mind! This time you could just back it up with a U YouTube video or a, a web page. But, um, no, people would just make shit up off the top of their heads or something that they heard in the schoolyard. Like, did you know you could get the Triforce in, uh, Ocarina of Time? You can do it. I know you can. My friend H Hendrick told me. Yeah, Marilyn Manson removed his ribs so he could give himself fellatio. That was a rumor that was going around. I don't know where that one came from, or that Marilyn Manson was the kid from the Wonder Years. Come to think of it, Marilyn Manson had some weird fucking rumors. Someone said, should I play this game or Dragon Quest XI? Dragon Quest XI. Someone said, there are hundreds of songs falsely attributed to Weird Al Yankovic. Why does everyone know the rib one, the one where he really enjoys ribs? <laughs> um, hang on a second. Vinny, you had the same exact conversation with the chat a year ago. Yeah, I believe that. There was- oh man, I missed a chat message, and I can't remember what they said, but it was a good one. F 
fuck. I lost it. Oh, someone said, what do you expect from the new Star Trek show? You mean Strange New Worlds? Oh, I expect lots of... of... Bad. At this point, I have no faith in Kurtzman, his writers, or CBS to do anything interesting with Star Trek. Even if they do say this is going to be a return to form. And I do like the actor who plays P uh, Captain Pike. I just don't have any faith in, in CBS. So, my expectations for Star Trek would be that it would get sold. And given to people who really want to make Star Trek what it was. A hopeful vision of the future. With lots of adventures. You know? This, this feels like the very end. Uh, this evil atmosphere is getting heavier by the minute. Anus must be getting close. Be Anus. Anus must be getting <laughs> close. Be careful from here on out. some seeds. Equip my people, and then we go. We go! To the planet core! Finally got a Hawkeye weapon. Attack increases by 40% when HP drops to 30% or below. Plus more strength. Um, all allies' magic attack increases by 5%. Sure. I mean, I'm probably just going to have Angela decimate Anus, but that's fine. <sighs> I realize the things I say and how I say them much too late. that there's a ring called Dolan's Ring. No reason. It's just a good name. Devil ti Tiara. Um, I also got... What did I get? A mana ring? Cancels out all status effects. I think I want to put that on. not really using charge attack, so I'm just going to get more magic for Angela. Vinny, did you see that 30XX has a new demo on Steam? Oh, wait, really? Like, it's playable? 
I saw a video of it. It looked great. It's like two levels, though. That's fine. I'm gonna take a look at it. Maybe I'll do, like, um... I'll check out the sneaky game. And that. It's the welcome party. <laughs> Bold of you to come here instead of running away. So, you're Annis the Witch, huh? I have but one desire. Use the portal to Mavulia to destroy the world. I will ruin this realm with my own two hands. <laughs> now, behold my power and despair at your worthlessness. Okay. Hmm. Good. <laughs> Ride, worthless mana worms. Fall from the tower of your dreams. <laughs> this cryptic speech. Feed me with your pain. I don't believe any of it. I'm sorry, Anus. This thing is the witch. Her power is almost on par with the goddess of mana. Is this it? Very. Step out of it. The thing is, she's wearing more clothing than Angela, so she's less powerful. That's that's how this game's rules work. Everybody knows the rules. Angela, we need you to do the things, please. You just need to, d like, decimate. Someone said to use, like, spells on the crystals, but... Like, why? Like, what's the opposite of Earth? Wind? I don't think Haw Hawkeye has wind. Oh wait, yes he does. He's got, he's got thunder. There we go. Opposite of Earth is Mars, says chat. I was gonna say, it's not a centipede, is it? I actually had a centipede dream last night, if you, um, if you can believe it. 
I had a dream that a centipede was coming out of a wall electricity socket, and it was dead. It was like a petrified centipede, right? So I ignored it. And I was walking past the outlet. Because it was petrified, it was, it was already dead. And uh, so I walked past it, and then later in the dream, I walked past it again, and it's gone. So I was like, where'd it go? And then I saw it, like, leave the wall socket and form into a new, more menacing centipede. And then I killed it with the salt gun. You know, there, there's a, the fucking thing called the bug assault. It's like, you put salt in it and you shoot it at bugs. Yeah, that was in my dream for some weird reason. Holy shit! Is that even gonna hurt the boss? Nope. Oh no! Hawkeye's doing some pretty good damage. That almost was real bad. Jesus. Where, where's Durin? Oh, he's petrified. I was like, hey, where's the healer? No, 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 live, live. And water, and water, water. Oof. Boy, those status effects are really fucked up. This is it. Oh shit, it's doing zero. There's one more. Ah, oh, fuck. I, I had to, like, I just abused iframes as much as I could there. It worked. It worked. It worked. One more ancient curse, Angela, for old time's sake. Well, that was a very climactic way to end that.
<gasps> you really thought this was over? Oh no, is there a phase three? I can never be purged from this world. Oh, never mind. Someday, I will be revived and bring chaos with me. Once time passes and you are long gone from this realm, I will remain, biding my time. Chaos will reign. Someday. We won, right? Not quite. As long as the goddess of mana exists, Anis will never disappear completely. But you dealt her a major blow. <laughs> I don't think she'll be coming back anytime soon. Well, not done until yet. Until she does. You still gotta save the mana goddess after all. <laughs> ah, for now, we should head back and talk to Grand Qua. Yes, now we have to talk to a bow. Oh, you have defeated the fearsome witch, Anis. My son, Byleth, as will be proud. As long as brave young souls like yourselves are willing to fight for justice, this world can yet be saved from chaos. That look in each of your eyes reminds me of a time long, long ago. Youth is the hope of this world. <sighs> I believe I can rest easily with that knowledge. Ah, my young adventurers. You are the world's beacon of hope. I have faith that you will save the goddess of mana. Believe in yourself. Thanks, book. So, uh, good, we did, we did it, I believe in myself, and now what? Anissa's chaotic power did not, will not disappear. You can gain new powers by defeating her when she tries to revive. You can now select New Game Plus. Okay, now I can actually finish the game again. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so hang on. So she revives randomly, and you have to kill her again. Heal. Healing lights. But do Heal. new game plus with Reese, Charlotte, and what other name? Do not know. Nah, I'm good. Not randomly, it's just an extra challenge you can do. Alright, fair enough. Listen, I liked this game. We ended with level 69. I had a good time with it. Uh, there's definitely some filler here and there, and I will always remember Angela and her eat, and I will remember Duran's bad voice acting as well as Matelo, the warbly ghost. It's nice to revisit Trials of Mana. I wish that they spent a little bit more money on this remake, but for what we got, I'm pretty pleased with it. You know, there is one last thing. Where, chat, what do you think I'm- no, 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 no. Where do you think I'm going? Huh? Cats. Welcome. I have a wide variety of weapons from you to peruse. You're welcome. Come again. Welcome. Without quality armor, it won't matter how good your weapons are. 
Come again. We still have one more. Who will it be? Who will get the final word? I'm not starting a new game with the other three characters. Sorry, everybody. There's like four people in chat that want me to do a new game plus with the other three characters. But here, let's see. Who's it going to be? Is it Charlotte? Twiles of Men. Yes! And that's real, too. That was real. I'll do my spicy water shot to that. Be right back. So appropriate. That means we got, out of seven times, we got six Charlottes. Mental.